supporting them. Exciting time to share the gospel. Starting up again internally with some exciting subjects. If you can't make it on campus, you can study by distance, whether it's Bible, ministry, or chaplaincy. For more information, check out hopecollege.com. see where they intersect and we then put together a message that's really relevant for today. Now, Jim, can I ask you a question? Have you ever, have you ever prayed or do you know anything about Jesus or anything like that has ever happened in your life? It was an Irish teacher I had in uh, the second grade who said, uh, you know, whenever I want something, I ask God for it. And, and uh, you know, I, I promise something in return and I get whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I'm like, I need a bike. <laughs> I went home and I prayed for a bike. And uh, two weeks later, I, uh, I walked into the living room and there was a brand new Mustang bike with a banana seat and, and uh, you know, chopper handlebars sitting in the middle of the living room. And I said, what's this? And they said, you won it in a raffle. And it turns out I won it in a raffle that I never entered. That a friend of mine went into a sporting goods store and uh, put my name in the raffle as well as his. But that was two weeks later, so. That's, a, that's an amazing story. That's an amazing story. And I also believe that you're a grandfather. I am a granddad, yes. Granddad. Yeah. But I, I tell him, don't call me grandpa, because every time, and it's hilarious, because he'll, he'll just keep doing it because he bothers me. You know, that's, that's I say, uh, don't call me grandpa, and he'll go, grandpa, and every time he calls me, mm, I get a little older. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Hope. My name's Tyler. It is great to have you in the house today. Well, <laughs> if you're new, it is awesome to have you here. We spend this time each, each Sunday morning grabbing our connection cards, which you'll find in your front seat pocket or in the pocket that's not on your front seat if you're in the front row, because you're in the front. So we take this time to to connect with you. It's an amazing card, an amazing opportunity. There's lots of information to share and we use this so we can connect with you over the week and build that relationship just a little bit better than what we can do on just a Sunday. So there's just the obvious information at the front. If you're a regular, just chuck down your name and email address. If you're new, chuck everything down there. There's a box with your prayer requests and praise notes and I highly encourage you to fill this section out. It's a very, very common thing for us to skip past our praise notes. There is always, always, always something that we can do to praise our God. I was just sitting there, sitting there today and I was looking at mine and there's just this big empty box with prayer requests and praise note. We're having amazing worship and Jade is up there it's spitting out a storm and it's amazing. I'm just sitting there, I don't know what to write in this praise note. And there's so many things I can be thankful for, but I just a little verse just shouted out to me there and it was just, my sin was great, but his love is greater. And it just, just those couple of lines just reflected me to my own testimony and I'm just like going on this emotional little trip just from two little sentences. 
But I just encourage you just, just to write something down there that you're thankful for today. We want to hear it. We want to hear what God's doing in your life. Just underneath there is your next step section. A walk with God doesn't stop. A walk with God isn't a Sunday thing. A walk with God's going to happen every day of our lives. So I just encourage you. We want to keep pushing through. We use the terminology at work all the time and so we're pushing, we want to push to achieve new things, we want to push to grow, we want to push to keep on moving. This is something that's going to happen with our walk with God. We can't grow stale, we can't hit our plateau, we're going to keep on pushing for what God wants to do. So there's a few options there for your next step, but I just want to, I just want to highlight Bible college. It's growing that knowledge in your life, that knowledge of who God is and, and what He is and and what He can do, there's just so much, so much more to it than, than what we know. And lastly, just at the bottom of the card is join and serve Jesus in. It's a very important part in our life where we receive so much from God, but it, it's up to us to, to share what we're given. If we spend all our lives receiving gifts and not handing any out, what are we doing? We get a little greedy. So I just encourage you, there's always, there's always something we can do. Just have a read through those and see if anything sticks out to you. But as you guys have spent a little time just reading through your connection card and filling it out, I'll spend a little time doing mine. church. So if we just hold on to those, we're going to collect those up with that in our offering, which I think is going to encourage us in. Good morning, everyone. So good to be in the house of God, isn't it? Well, we come to the time of our tithes and offerings, and uh, we have three ways that we can give here at Hope. So we've got these envelopes that you can put cash in or write your credit cards on, the blue one for our tithes, and next week you'll be using that one as well for the offering, which is a great opportunity to be able to give just that little extra to God. So the three ways is that, in cash or card, online, or out of the front at the Ethos. Now I just want to um, encourage you with a fairly familiar verse for tithes and offerings. It's from Luke 6, 38, give, and it will be given to you, a good measure, Rest down, shaken together, running over, will it be poured into your lap? For with the measure that you use will be the measure that you receive. Now, I've even used this before, and I know it's familiar, so please stay with me, because I just find it so amazing with God's Word. He can take you into deeper levels of understanding when you meditate even on familiar scriptures. As long as you don't close your heart and go, oh, well, I've heard that before. You know, if, you, if you're open for God to share with you and to reveal to you a lot more information, He will. So the last time I spoke on this verse, I spoke on the harvest. But God's given me another little insight of which I'm so thankful and actually I'm so excited about because it's really encouraged me and I wanted to encourage you today. Okay, God, in this verse, Jesus is actually teaching that one of the eternal principles of the kingdom that God has laid is eternal principles never ever fail because they also speak to his character which is unchanging so what he's promised is exactly what he delivers and I think that is just so amazing and as I was just um, thinking on this I was really encouraged by this verse in giving not just in tithes and offerings although that is one of the areas I just really feel is a, is a good area for us to always practice and grow in generosity. But generosity begets generosity and it's in every area of our life, whether it's service, whether it's giving away love, mercy, grace, whatever it is, it'll come back to you because that is God's principle. And the proof of that, which is where God took me, was this eternal law that God has already set in the heavens. It actually affected him too. God sowed his only son. And by this eternal law of his, he reaped sons and daughters. And that to me was an encouragement to me that no 
no matter what I sow, God will see that it comes back to Him because the law works for Him because it's His and it's eternal. So I just want us to encourage us today with that. And if you're feeling a bit weary and doing well, don't. Because this is an encouragement that whatever works for God will work for us. And this is how we become successful in every area of our life and to begin to look more and more like Jesus Christ. That's our goal. And that's the Father's heart. So I'd just like to pray for our um, offering. And um, as the buckets come from that side of the auditorium to this, just pop it in with your connection card. And so we'll just uh, pray over that offering now. Father, I just thank you so much that we always have opportunity to be more like you. That you open our hearts, you give us um, revelation, and you yourself encourage us, Father, to be more like you in every area of our life. Father, I just pray, even as these tithes and offerings are received today by you as a form of our worship and a part of our life. Father, I just thank you that your word declares that a blessing will come back to us. And Father, we now have opportunity to give into your kingdom that we may even add more sons and daughters to the eternal family. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, church.
thank you, uh, your worship team, great job. Really appreciate it. Yeah. And our ushers, and our kids leaders, and our bar baristas, and our sound guys, and our lighting people, and our car park, and our welcomers. Doing a great job. Doing a great job. Well, welcome to Hope Church this morning. If you're visiting with us, welcome.